Hi there, thanks for checking out our repair channel. This is uh, going to be just an overview and show and tell test, I guess, of one of these units. This is a uh, old unit, old metal case units, um, a farm test. It's a model 2054. Uh, I think farm test was probably, I'm not 100%, it might have been its own brand or it was private labeled for by some other major brand for a particular store, a uh, chain of stores possibly. Um, but it's a good old unit. We got this one going again. Replaced uh, the fuse mounts on the outside with new ones because uh, one was bad. Another one wasn't bad, but they wanted both of them replaced anyway. So we went ahead and did that. And then I uh, had to repair the board. Uh, transformer was still original to it, but um, it's working great. Again, this is a old, like a 1970s model probably, somewhere in that range. Um, solid state, not low impedance. Um, unit so it puts out a pretty good spark um on the thing but it doesn't handle the load like a low impedance ones do nowadays uh depending on your weed, weeds on the fence and how much fence you're running but when they're working they throw out a pretty good spark it's a pretty basic unit has a okay light up or controller okay light up here which is the power light tells the power's on fence okay light that flashes every pulse and if you get a i think if you get a um a load on it heavy enough this light will go out the units will click the light will go out i think i haven't tested that part of it yet but we'll find out so i'm going to power it up to 110 110 120 volt unit so I'll plug it in and we'll show you it working oh well, there it goes a clicking find a different outlet to plug it in but Wires a little loose. There we go. It throws about a um, half inch spark out of the thing. Pretty, pretty stout shot from the thing. We'll um, hook a fence tester across there and see what kind of volt reading we get. Uh, 10,000 volts it says so that's plenty hot uh, unit so but yeah pretty pretty slick old unit uh, like I said it's a metal case unit well maybe it's not as old as I thought it was that uh, there's engraving on the back here maybe it's when the guy bought it or when he acquired it but it says um, uh, 320 of 1992 I don't think it's that old though I, th I, I mean I think it's older than that but but maybe it's not. But it is a good old unit uh, we got going again for a guy. So if you got an old unit, be happy to work on it for you. We don't care how old or new it is or what brand it is. We, we work on all of them. Um, we always give you a free quote. And we put year and a half repair warranties on everything that we work on. Lightning damage is being part of the warranty. So if you've uh, sent us a 40-year-old unit or a 5-year-old unit and we work on one, we give you a year and a half warranty on everything that we work on on the unit. All right. yeah, see, so see how bright the light is right there right now? So if you got a pretty bad short in the thing, the light it's a lot dimmer if it's a dead short light goes out but if it's pretty clean it goes back to shocking again or flat flashing again so that's kind of nice little thing that it has some units don't even have that they have a light that flashes and don't know if it's working or not but uh so it's, some brands do though well, uh, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and find out a little bit more about us. Uh, go down to the description tab, uh, click on our link there to our website, fencerfixer.com. Fencer and Fixer is both spelled with a F as in Frank. But until we do another video of how to work on one or how one works and some of the features of a unit, we will see you guys later.